Think for a moment of the melody of the Quran. Think for a moment of how beautiful it sounds. The different types of recitations, the different reciters. Think for a moment how beautiful it was, It's or it is. It's not harsh, it's not hard. It attracts people just by the way it sounds. Why? Because Allah knows you want someone to come, the way it is conveyed needs to be attractive. You need to speak to people with a smile, with a good tone. You need to speak to people with a beautiful message. You need to make them feel appreciated. You need to make them feel that they are important. You need to make them feel that you would love to see that they are guided. Many of us lack this. We doom people, we send them to hell, we call them names, we label them, we've already decided where they're going to go, and we claim we are callers towards goodness. We haven't connected with revelation. That's the problem. Reconnect with revelation, go back and look at how the Almighty addresses the Pharaoh who was terrible. Look at how the Almighty instructs the prophets to talk to those whom they were sent to. Yet, they were prophets higher than you and I, by all standards. Subhanallah. And we claim to be pious, and we claim to be holy, religious, and we chase people away from God Almighty, from Allah Almighty, from faith. How could we do that? So this verse where Allah Almighty says, verse number 125 of Surah An-Nahl, hikmah Allahu Akbar, call towards the path of your Lord with wisdom. He speaks about wisdom first. Call towards the path or the way of God, the way of Allah. Call towards it with wisdom. Hikmah, and beautiful reminders, beautiful reminders. Speak to people, make them want to listen to what you have to say because you've given them importance. You haven't doomed them, you haven't belittled them. Your duty or you, you considered it your duty to bring them along by the help of Allah. To help them come forth by the help of Allah. That's what I want, my dear sister. My dear brother, that's how you address people. You don't just yell at them, point at them, make them feel small, swear at them, you know, mock at them, doom them as people do and claim to be religious. So the closest people to Allah are those who are the wisest in approach when they're calling towards the same Allah. The closest people to Allah are those who care for those who are far away from Allah in a way that they address them respectfully for them to come and recognize the same Allah. Wow, subhanallah, subhanallah. This is a verse that would actually, you know, change all of us if we thought about it. Reconnect with Allah. By reconnecting with people who may be distant from Allah to help them connect to the same Allah and see how Allah Almighty helps you to connect with everything positive thereafter. May Allah bless every one of us and grant us all goodness and help us to help one another. Help us to spread the goodness in the best possible way with great wisdom and tact and that we address people and the arguments we present be the best arguments that are very inviting towards the truth. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد